the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Sing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands and one looking for treasures. It's no uncommon thing in unsettled and half-civilized countries, perhaps even now as well as in ancient times, when there was no other way of securing wealth and possessions from uh, the neighbors or those who would come and loot uh, from others. And so the possession of wealth often becomes the source of great uh, 
perplexity because uh, the inability to secure it. Long before we had Wells Fargo and Bank of America, Chase, and all of these institutions, um, they would oftentimes find some other plan to conceal their wealth, their jewels, and their valuables. Um, and so you would find that individuals would sometimes hide their goods under the mattress. Yes, yes. Uh, then there were those who would find a secret place in the closet hide their goods and others would have little uh, safes or vaults in the home where they could put things away. Yes, yes. But if you would go back further in history, you would even find individuals who would bury their stuff in a field. Yes. Uh, some unknown spot. Yes, yes. Nobody knew where it was but the owner. Sometimes, because of these arrangements, the owner would go away and, and they would die before the intended time of their return. And their secret died with them. And that would be the source of some of these hidden treasures that folk would be in search of. Times of war and pestilence sometimes carried off great number of individuals and they too would leave these concealed treasures where no one knows exactly where they are. Uh, Achan hid the spoils of war in the ground under his tent. Joshua chapter 7 21 talks about that. Yes. says, when I saw among the spoils a beautiful Babylonian garment, 200 shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them. And there they are, hidden in the earth in the midst of my tent, with the silver under it. Jeremiah makes reference to it. 41 and 8, Jeremiah says, But ten men were found among them who said to Ishmael, Do not kill us, for we have treasures of wheat, barley, oil, and honey in the field. So he desisted and did not kill them among their brethren. Job alludes to it in Job chapter 3, verse 21, Who longed for death, but it does not come and search for it more than hidden treasures. Yes, yes, yes. Solomon talks about it in Proverbs 2 and 4. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures. Yes, yes. Uh, and so it's no wonder today that Jesus, as he shares these seven parables with us, that on the fifth uh, and sixth parable that he uh, would include uh, hidden treasures uh, amongst those uh, parables that he would share with us. Uh, we know that in parables number three and four, he talked about humble beginnings. But lest we think that uh, the kingdom of heaven uh, is only about the humbleness of our beginnings, he says, let me take you to parables number five and six, which are the two that we will look at today, that of the hidden treasures and the pearl of great price. And let me show you that the kingdom of heaven is about great things. Yes. Yes. And so he shares with us about this hidden treasure. And there he points to a field and a treasure. The field represents the gospel. The treasure represents Jesus the Christ. And it's this field that he speaks of that would introduce us and point to uh, that glorious good news that God shares with us each and every day of our lives. Uh, it, it is uh, that secret 
that he alludes to earlier in verse 35 of this 13th chapter when he says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. Yes, uh, there are many hidden truths of the gospel uh, where we were trying to unravel in the Old Testament that the New Testament made plain that we could see it and understand it uh, where we were grasping trying to understand uh, the Passover when we were grasping trying to understand uh, the sacrifices on the altar God would make them plain uh, when he would show up in the gospel in his son Jesus the Christ reason why so many slight the gospel um, it's because they look only upon the surface of the field they judge the gospel by uh, that which eyes can behold on the surface but my brothers and sisters, there's far more to the gospel than what your eye can see on the surface. Yes. Um, they slight the gospel because um, they see no excellency in Christian institutes. Uh, they somehow or another uh, think that uh, there is no comparison to the philosophers of the world. So humanism would find itself bowing down at the altar of philosophy while neglecting the fields of the gospel. Yes. But I stopped by to share with you today, my brothers and sisters, that uh, the richest minds are often in grounds that appear most barren. Yes, uh, when you go gold mining, uh, California was... Uh, that place where they would say in the old westerns, go west, young man, go west. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, it was the place where you could mine for gold. Uh, yeah. Yes, but that gold was not found in glorious places, uh, illustrious uh, and beautiful, but it would be found as you would just pan uh, and mine in those dirty places. Yes, uh, I stopped by to share with you, my brothers and sisters, as we look upon this field of the gospel, uh, the Bible is more than other good books. That's right. Yes, uh, when you look at the Bible, yes, it has eternal truths yes. that yes. ultimately change lives and lift up spirits. Yes. John chapter 5 verse 39 says this, you search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Yes, yes the truths of the gospel enlighten and illuminate our minds that we can see the mysteries of Christ. Yes. Yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, the gospel of Christ is more than Plato's philosophy or Confucius morals. The gospel of Christ, uh, yes, will outlast and outlive governments. Uh, the gospel of Christ uh, will outlive and outlast movements. Uh, yes, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, but not only do we have the gospel in these fields, uh, but then we have hidden down uh, in the field, a treasure, yes. yes uh, and that treasure that is wrapped up and tangled and tied up in this gospel is Jesus the Christ. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. Psalms number 105, verse 3 says, Glory in his holy name. Yes. Let the earth, let the hearts rather of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Jesus, he is that pearl of great price yes. that is referred to in this parable here today. 
Yes, a, a jewel of immeasurable value. Yes, will make those who have it rich. Uh, yes, rich beyond gold, rich beyond silver, rich beyond de uh, our, our dollars and our bank accounts and our 401ks, uh, rich beyond what the eye can see and what the hands can handle. Yes, Jesus, that pearl of great price. First uh, Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 says it like this. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, that is a reason why we all search for this treasure. Yeah. This treasure that is found uh, in the fields of the gospel that is found uh, in Jesus Christ. Yes. My brothers, we ought, to, we ought to find this treasure. Yes, uh, and when we take a moment uh, here and we look in verses uh, 44 through 46. Yes, of this 13th chapter of Matthew. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, uh, uh, he says again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, yes. which a man found and hid, and for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. My brothers and sisters, as we look at these two parables, the first of which uh, is one who was not really looking for a treasure, but he found it anyhow. Yes, uh, the second of these uh, is a merchant, uh, yes, who was on a mission. Uh, he was looking for a treasure. He was aware that a treasure existed, uh, yes, and he found it. My brothers and sisters, what God gets at here in the text is that no matter whether or not you realize that Jesus, uh, yes, can make a difference in your life and, 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 or, or not, uh, yes, he's still there willing, ready, and able, uh, yes, uh, to touch your soul, to warm your heart, uh, yes, to impact your life. Yes, uh, and so one man was, was, was just simply stumbling across the treasure while another man was searching, yes, for a pearl of great price. Yes, but both of their lives were changed nonetheless, no matter what the situation might be. Uh, yes, uh, that's why God is trying to impress on our hearts and our minds uh, there are some folk in, you, in your family Yes, uh, who are searching for Jesus, trying to get out of the situation they're in. Uh, yes, but then there are others who don't realize that they're lost yes. on their way to hell. Yes, uh, but my brothers and sisters, regardless of the circumstances, Jesus, yeah. Yeah. he's there. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, uh, he sits high and he looks low. Yeah. Yes, and he can make the difference up. Uh, yeah, and, and so and so for this first individual, he he found unexpected treasures in a field, but he had sense enough uh, to recognize the value of what he stumbled across. Yes. Uh, and what we must impress upon this generation, the society in which we live, uh, yes, uh, it is the value of Jesus Christ uh, this treasure yes yes uh, this man he realized what he had yes uh, and so what he did was he stuck what he found back in the ground long enough for him to go and gather his money yes he got whatever he could find whatever possessions he had uh, he found them uh, and he brought them back yes uh, so that he could buy this land. Yes. Yes. Uh, the emphasis here is not on uh, yes uh, the manner in which he did it per se. Yes. Uh, but the fact that he 
would, would know that it was something that he had to have. Uh, look at that word joy. Joy sprung up in this man's life when he ran into yes. Jesus. Yes. This treasure. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, if, if, if our minds are willing, uh, our hearts are ready, uh, when we run into Jesus, uh, it ought to cause joy to spring up in our hearts. Yes. man perceived that this treasure that he stumbled across would surpass the worth of all that he possessed. So willingly he went and got what he had. Yes. Yes. And he laid it at the altar and said, here it is. Give me the land. Yes. Yeah, so that I can go and get the treasure yes. uh, that I stumbled across. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say something else about that in a minute. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, we've, got to, we've got to learn in our lives to surrender in order to obtain. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, what shall I give to the Lord? Uh, I know you own everything and everything belongs to him. Uh, but all I can surrender is my body, my mind, and my soul. Is there anybody here? Yes, who's willing uh, to surrender to the Lord uh, that you can obtain all of God's riches and wealth. All that God wants to bestow and invest in your lives. Uh, the reason why sometimes uh, folk cannot get where they want to go is because they're not willing to let go of some stuff. Yes, yes. This man, he realized that what he had to go and get and bring back to buy this land what nothing in comparison yes. to what he would get in return. Yes. And it was the same way with the merchant who stung, who went and found this pearl a great price. He too would go and gather all that he had. He would sell all of his possessions uh, and, and he would bring it back uh, to buy this pearl uh, because he too realized uh, that all of this money that he had was nothing in comparison to what he would obtain in Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm, Jewish law dictated that uh, if you bought the land you get everything that's on the land. All right. And if you were wondering why it is that this man would, would dig back and hold, hide the treasure back in the land while he go and get money, it was because if he got the land, he would get Yes, yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Uh, if, if you accept Jesus, yes. you get the benefits that come with knowing him. Yes, yeah. yeah, I, I, I know a lot of times folk want the blessings that God has to offer, but they don't want the land on which he resides. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. but my brothers and sisters, we've got to surrender ourselves if we really want God to bless us, if we want God to lift us up and, and to encourage us and take us to the next level of living in our lives. We can't stick just a toe in the water and expect to go swimming. <laughs> mm. If we want to swim, we got to get wet. Come on. Girl. Yes, Lord. Matthew Henry shares this. He says, they who would have saving benefit by Christ must be willing to part with all. That they may make it sure to themselves. My brothers and sisters, we must count everything but loss that we may win Christ and be found in him. Yes. It's not a problem to give up what I have when I know that what I get is far more valuable. Yes. Yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, it, it's no problem for me to buy a few shares of stock. Yes, when I know that the stock market is going to rise on tomorrow and it's going to be worth more than what I paid for it on today. Can I get a witness in here? 
Yes, uh, and, and that's what it's like when we would when we would invest dividends in the gospel and when we would accept Jesus Christ as our Savior is that it's going to go up on tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. God will in turn share with us eternal life. Amen. Um, A.T. Robertson points out this. He says, the enormous wealth of the kingdom for which any sacrifice even all that one has is not too great a price to pay. Uh, whatever stands in opposition to Christ or in competition even with him for our love and service, we must cheerfully quit it. <laughs> uh, though ever so dear to us. Yes, my brothers and sisters, what I'm getting at here in the text today in the two lingering and last parables uh, is that God says to you and to me is that his kingdom is greater. It may begin with humble beginnings uh, but it ends uh, in greatness, in valuable wealth. Yes. Yeah. If you think that somehow or another if you would sign up on Jesus' team Yes, that you have the losing hand. I stopped by to tell you not so. All right. Yes, son. Yeah, if you, if you think for a minute that you're losing out, uh, yes, because you are signing up on Jesus' team, you're not. Yes, uh, when you decide, uh, yes, uh, that you will let Jesus be your guide and your leader. When you decide, uh, yes, to make God your choice. Uh, when you decide, uh, yes, that I will follow Jesus. Uh, when you decide, sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Uh, you're on the winning team. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. May not look like Yes, Kobe didn't look like much. Boy out of high school, but uh, turned out to be a great investment. Yeah. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, Shaq couldn't make a, a free throw uh, if his life depended on it. Uh, yes, uh, but he turned out to be a great investment. Uh, yes, I, I'm trying to get you to realize uh, that it may not look like it, uh, but it is in the end. Uh, yes, when you invest in God, uh, you are I don't care what friends might say about you. Yes, don't you worry about that. Yes, uh, don't worry about it if you don't get invited to all of the parties anymore. Don't, don't worry about that. Yes, uh, don't, don't you worry about it. Uh, yes, if everybody not, you know, blowing up your phone like they used to. Yes, uh, it, it'll be all right. When it's time to cash in your investment, uh, yes, uh, it'll be all right when the wrong is called up yonder. It'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, yes, when the yeah. trumpet sounds, uh, when my name is called uh, up yonder, yes, it'll be all right. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I got to sit down, but, but, but can, I, can I leave this with you? Yes, uh, sometimes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, uh, we find ourselves like 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Yes, uh, where we feel the struggles of life, where we feel the pain, the heartache, uh, the difficulties and tragedies of life. Sometimes uh, we find ourselves suffering uh, down here. Yes, yes. But it's going to be all right. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, breathing high. Yeah. It's going to be all right, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, because God says we have this treasure yeah. in earthen vessels. Yeah. Yes, these vessels in which we live uh, are earthen vessels. They're made of clay. Uh, sometimes uh, they crack. Uh, sometimes uh, they weak. Uh, sometimes uh, yes, uh, they have to be remolded. Uh, they have to be repaired uh, along the way. Uh, yes, uh, but my yes. brothers and sisters, uh, the good news uh, is that we have this treasure inside of these vessels. Uh, yes, uh, and because we have the treasure inside of the vessels, uh, it's going to be all right yes. in the morning. Uh, 
Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, if, if I can help you understand this thing, uh, yes, uh, down at the local bank, uh, yes, uh, people bring uh, their treasure, uh, yes, yes uh, they bring their monies, uh, they bring uh, stocks uh, and bonds and put them in safe deposit boxes, uh, yes, uh, and because these banks uh, have uh, these treasures, uh, yes, uh, they have security guards, uh, yes, uh, at the door, uh, yes, because they have these treasures, uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, they have these steel bolts, uh, yes, uh, that locks everything inside uh, securely, uh, yes, because uh, they have treasure. Yes, the building yes, it's brick and mortar like any other building down the street. It has cracks the paint may be peeling but because it has the treasure on the inside yes, it's secure. Yes, what I'm getting at here my brothers and sisters because you got Jesus yes, God has secured your life yes, God My brothers and sisters, uh, the power is of God and not of us. Uh, yes, uh, he says it like this. He says, we may be hard-pressed on every side. Uh, yes, uh, buffeted about uh, from the right and uh, the left. Uh, but he says, in the end, uh, we're not crushed. Uh, he says that we are perplexed. Uh, yes, uh, but not in despair. Uh, we're persecuted, uh, but not Church are open. Yes. 